is climbing the corporate ladder worth a mountain of debt. Today, the golden ticket of a business school comes with a golden price tag. But does it unlock the doors to wealth and wisdom, or is it just an expensive piece of paper in the age of entrepreneurs and autodidacts? Welcome to Moneycraft Masters, where we decode the dollars and make sense of the cents. In this episode, we're diving deep into one of the most heated debates in commerce and careers. Is business school worth it? And we're not just crunching numbers. We've got the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett himself, weighing in. So buckle up, G.R. Ledger, and get ready to find out if the MBA is the CPA. Career propelling advantage. You've been told it is segment one, the cost of business school. Let's talk numbers. The cost of a top-tier business school can exceed $200,000. That's not just tuition. We're talking books, the infamous networking trips, and, of course, those late sees during late-night study sessions. For many, this means student loans that stick around longer than that lifetime accesses to the alumni network. But it's an investment, right? The promise of higher salaries and corner offices can be tempting. The average MBA graduate halls in a starting salary double that of a bachelor's degree holder. It's impressive, but when you factor in the debt, the equation gets a bit more complicated. Is the return on investment as clear-cut as it seems? Or is the actual cost of business school not just in dollars, but in the years spent out of the workforce, the interest accruing on loans, and the pressure to land a job that justifies it all? Now let's shift gears and talk about value, not just price tags. And who better to guide us on value than Warren Buffett, who turned reading financial statements and sipping cherry coke into a multi-billion dollar empire? Stay tuned as we unpack the Buffett philosophy on education and success. Segment 2. Traditional Benefits of Business School Before we dissect the wisdom of Buffett, let's lay out the traditional case for business school. It's not just a degree. It's marketed as a transformational experience. The networking opportunities are vaunted as unparalleled rubbing elbows with future CEOs, connecting with alums, and internships with top firms. Then there's the curriculum, case studies, management strategies, and the allure of becoming a financial wizard. These programs promise to mold you into a leader, a visionary, and an industry titan. But let's pause and ponder. How much of this is a guaranteed ticket to success and how much is, well, good marketing? It's time to turn to a man who knows something about separating substance from spin. Warren Buffett, the man who could buy any degree if he saw value in it, but instead earned him by hitting the books and making deals. Buffett's take on business school is not black and white. It's nuanced, much like his investment strategy. So let's dive into the gray areas with the man who reads annual reports for fun. Segment 3, Warren Buffett's Perspective. Warren Buffett, known for his frugality and investment prowess, didn't build his wealth through a prestigious business school. He did it through keen analysis and a disciplined approach to investing. So what does Buffett think about business school? He's on record questioning the value of an expensive business school education, suggesting that sometimes it's not worth the cost. Buffett champions the idea that the most valuable education comes from experience, from the doing rather than the getting taught. Buffett's path was full of formal education, though. He holds a degree from the University of Nebraska and a master's from Columbia Business School, where Benjamin Graham mentored him. But it's crucial to note Buffett emphasizes that it was Graham's mentorship and the real-world application of his principles that were invaluable, not just degree. Buffett advises investors to be wary of business schools that teach complex theories that disconnect from the realities of the business world. He advocates for understanding the basics deeply and applying common sense over complex algorithms. So, if the sage of Omaha suggests prudence before plunging into business school, what should the rest of us consider? Let's look at alternatives gaining traction in today's fast-paced business environment. Segment 4. Alternatives to Business School In a world where knowledge is at our fingertips, the traditional business school model faces competition from more agile, often more affordable alternatives. Online courses, boot camps, and even YouTube channels like this can provide targeted learning without the hefty price tag. Then there's the rise of the Amini MBA's programs, short, Intense courses designed to deliver the essentials of business education in weeks, not years. 
These can be a great way to get the lay of the land without committing to a full-time program. But let's remember the most time-honored alternative, real-world experience, starting a business, joining a startup, or climbing the corporate ladder from the ground up. These are ways to learn that no classroom can match. Warren Buffett himself started with a handful of stocks and a small partnership before building the behemoth that is Berkshire Hathaway. It was the lessons he learned through each investment and each deal that built his empire, not just his time in the classroom. Segment 5. Making the Decision Deciding whether to attend business school is a major life choice, and it's not one size fits all. It requires a hard look at your personal goals, your career trajectory, and yes, your finances. Consider this. What are your career end games? Are you looking to climb the corporate ladder, pivot to a new industry, or launch your venture? Each path may warrant a different approach to education and networking. Warren Buffett's advice. Invest in yourself. That might mean honing your communication skills, learning to code, or improving public speaking. These skills can sometimes have a higher return on investment than a traditional MBA. And let's remember the value of mentorship. Finding a mentor in your field can provide personalized guidance that no classroom can offer. Buffett had Benjamin Graham. Who will you have? Ultimately, the worth of business school is a personal equation that only you can balance. It's about more than just the financial cost, the potential to propel your career and personal growth. So is business school worth it? It's a complex question without a universal answer. It can be a powerful catapult for your career or an expensive misstep. It all depends on who you are and where you want to go. Warren Buffett's journey teaches us that the most profound education often happens outside the classroom in the real world of deals, dollars, and due diligence. It's about lifelong learning. Whether in a lecture or the market hall, share your thoughts in the comments below. Would you consider business school or are you taking a different route to success? And if you've enjoyed this deep dive into the value of an MBA, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to join us for more financial insights. Thank you for watching Money Craft Masters. Remember, invest in your mind. Invest in your future. Until next time, keep analyzing, growing, and staying smart.